Hey everybody, good morning and welcome to our show this week. I'll tell you what, we have got an exciting day going on today. We are at actually heading down to Lake Koshkinon to fish with our good friend Adam Walton from Pike Pole Guide Service. You know, we haven't done a show with Adam in a couple of years. You know, we try to always kind of mix things up all the time, traveling around, fishing with new people. But this guy is probably one of my favorite guys to fish with because he is a great fisherman and he is as funny as they get. So I'm really looking forward to today's show. We're going to be fishing walleyes and maybe a little bit of crappie fishing, drifting, trolling, casting. He's got everything going down there. Again, very excited about today. We're going to have an absolutely great day. Hold on to your heinies. Let's see what happens. The breathing is easy, the living is good Out in the great outdoors Larry Smith Outdoors is brought to you by Warrior Boats Vortex Mike's Country Meats Bartline Barrels Leroy Meats Bait Rigs Double towels, easy loader trailers, and heavy shot. So remember like I always say, it's a great day to be alive. And it's a lot of travel without a seatbelt. I don't think he understands that it's against the law to ride without a seatbelt. He probably, he's only a year and a half. He probably should be in a child seat. I never thought about that. Little stinker, you might have to stay home today because I don't have a child seat for you. What do you think of that? Is he crying? He does look sad to you. Oh, what's wrong? Hey, just so you uh, young buckaronis know, it was not me that was late. Millennial, <laughs> right here, millennial. Hey, I'll tell you what, the great part about these Delco covers is they go on super easy and they come off super easy. That's it, right there, ready to go. I love the way they travel down the road and how tight this cover is, keeps all of our gear safe. We're drifting, and you cast it on the opposite side of the boat. One of you boys gonna net that for him, or? Hey, first walleye of the morning, and that is very interesting that you're casting. All right, first walleye of the day. Nice job, start the day off. You know, I think the key to any type of fishing is that we already made a pass through here and we caught two, but I never had a bite. So definitely the key is to keep changing the color because we're marking plenty of fish on the locators. And so giving them, especially when you don't have perfect conditions, you know, giving them the right thing that they want is definitely key. So I'm always about changing the color, so. Yep, there you go. Hey. Nice job. It's nice and easy. Ooh, there's some decent fish right there. Hang on, Hold buddy. them down. On the old slip bobber, huh? Ooh, I just lost one too. When all else fails, go to a slip bobber and a leech. I tell you what, sometimes the simplest presentation is... The best? The best. Now that's a healthy fish right there. Nice uh, future. Keeper? Yeah. <laughs> hey, we'll take them all. That's right. Built for fishermen, built by fishermen. 
um, really that says it all. It's the family here. It's, it's not a big, big conglomerate, it's a family. They treat you, you feel like you're in a family, you know. When you put those two together, an amazing product and amazing people, it's just the type of company you want to be involved with. Not only because of just the great boats, but because of the camaraderie that the Warrior family has. The customer service is amazing. Uh, they never leave you hanging. So come join the Warrior family. All right, boys, here's where they are. Think fish, we're right on them right now. Guys, your energy is not high enough. You need to have more energy. You have to get jacked up because the, the energy is going to transfer through your pole down the line and into the water. And that's going to jack the fish up. And then when the fish are jacked up, they're going to bite. Okay. So jacked up. Jacked up. Woo! Jacked up. <laughs> Somebody is calling 911 right now. <laughs> Somebody's got murdered on the lake. Ooh, I just lost one too. Oh, holy smokies. Right there is a good, that was a good fish too. I wonder if this is a perch. There we go. Add them right underneath the boat. Yeah, the vertical jig in here is pretty good. Oh, oh, Look at them perch, huh? Oh. Yeah, nice perch here. I was wondering if that was a perch. Look at the size of that perch. That is absolutely a giant. Adam, I didn't think you guys had big. Yeah, so I mean, it's not a numbers game out here. Yeah, but the that is absolutely a giant perch right there. The panfish out here, quality is, is great. I was wondering because I had like two or three bites when I was casting uh, just the split shot and the hook, and then I just put one over the side and the way the bites felt were just like taps like that. And man, oh man, you can't go wrong about that right there at all. Oh, another big perch. Oh, 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 look at that. Oh, Adam, forget the walleyes. These are the size of a walleye. Look at the size of these perch. I'll tell you what, that is absolutely, and basically all I'm doing is just split shot. I got a pink hook on here, got my Mags custom rod and a split shot and a hook, and that's it. Boy, I'll tell you, that's about, this is the second one I got in the boat, but I've missed six or seven now. And them are absolutely giant perch. Reminds me of the old Winnebago days. Hey, you guys, I'm kicking your hiney. You caught two. I, two. You're right, I caught two, but I'm still kicking the <laughs> honeys. Oh, what do you got there? Holy moly, get that up there. Who is that a tank? Look at, look at the size of Adam's mitts and look at the size <laughs> of that fish. Whoa. I'll tell you, the panfish, like we were saying before, you might not get the numbers, but the quality out here is, is yeah, pretty, that's pretty fantastic. phenomenal. Oh, nice job, dude. Not huh. quite as big as that last one, but still a really nice fish. Yeah. I think we can get this one out a little quicker, too. Yeah. I thought we were walleye fishing it. today. <laughs> All righty, well, I'll let you guys get back All to right. catching Thank them. Thank you. Yep, you nice later. meeting you. Yep. yep. Oh, Adam, finally my turn. Is that a big perch? No, oh, the walleye. I know it, that's what I'm saying. Now it's time for the real fish. Nice job, just again, just pitching that split shot, colored hook, piece of crawler. Gotta love that. This one feels a little bit better, Ann. Yeah. Oh, that's a nice fish, yeah, really nice fish. Definitely better fish. Gotta love it right there. Again, pretty basic, you know, just split shot and a hook. And it's amazing that you would think that a fish, you know, moving it slower, faster would make a big difference, but it certainly did, does for sure. Little things make a big difference. 
You know, I'll tell you what about these tub of towels. They're a great thing to have, and I love these single packs. You know what that's from? That's from some Leroy meats that they devoured, but then put the bag in the garbage. Hey, Adam, let's talk a little bit about, really about Kashkanan and uh, the river system that goes through it and really what kind of species of fish are actually in this body of water. Yeah, so Lake Kashkanan has been around for quite some time. The Indian Ford Dam was built downriver in, in the I think late 1800s and this was just a marsh at the time and it would, uh, formed a lake after the dam was built. 10,000 plus acres, so it's quite large but the average depth of about five feet, so pretty shallow system. And there's some holes that are six, seven feet deep, but, but generally shallow. Not a lot of structure. Not a lot of structure, 80% mud. Uh, the rest is some sand and uh, gravel. There's a, a few, they you know, call it the rock piles, but they're not like boulders or anything like you would think of. It's just more little standard rocks and gravel areas. A uh, variety of species in this, in this system, though it's you know, a classic river system. You got walleye, pike, um, there's occasional muskies in here. They seem to hold more so in the river system, though. But we end up we end up catching a handful out here uh, every year. Uh, some tank panfish, uh, perch, bluegill, crappies. They're all all run really big. It's definitely uh, always fun when we're in the boat together, and you know all the goofy things we do, and uh, <laughs> you know just the conversation, and and uh, you know we're. Fishing is kind of like secondary on a day like today, even though it's been an absolutely awesome day. We've caught a lot of fish so far, and, and uh, you know, if people really want to come out and enjoy what you have to offer, which, uh, you know, I would highly suggest, I think they should definitely give you a call and, and uh, you know, enjoy, you know, a day with you. I appreciate that. Yeah, we can... Uh... You can find us online at pikepolefishing.com is the website. And I say we, I have a couple other guys that, that give me a hand. Um, you can also follow us on Facebook at Pike Pole Fishing Guide Service and Instagram. So we're on uh, all over social media. And like I said, we try to keep uh, in touch with, with all anglers and recreational boaters and try to keep them updated with no wake status. And if there's a hazard out on the lake, we try to post waypoints so people are aware of it. So that's uh, just some of the stuff we put on Facebook other than just our, our daily outings and, and fishing activity too. So appreciate it for any follows and you know, thanks for the support. And thank you, Larry, for uh, kind words. Here we go. Boy, Adam, that did not take long at all. And this, ooh, that's a, bit, a little better fish for sure. Definitely a better fish. Just went to drifting. A couple other guys out here drifting and doing pretty well. That's definitely a nice fish. Nice, nice, nice job. I'm liking that one. Kinda like that. You know, Basically, again, what we're using, I'm using, is just a, a split shot, just so I'm not grinding the bottom. A small colored hook on there, and I've got that split shot, basically, it just slid down, but I've got that split shot about a foot and a half from the hook, and just dragging it real slow, and like I said, not grinding the bottom, just kind of going over to where that bottom is, is there. Yes, geez. Here we go. Hey! Oh yes, I'm gonna tell you. Oh, there you go, set the hook. You got him, keep reeling. Yep, nice job, I'll tell you that. Oh, that's a good one, liking that, you know. Yep, very cool, very, very cool. Ooh, pepper is my favorite. Hey, hey! Ooh, nice one too. Yep. Oh, get the net on that get one. Net. Slow them down a little bit. So what were you doing there? That's a nice fish. Oh, that's a feisty little. Oh, you gotta hold that one up, right? Right. So did that one just grab onto it and hang onto it? Yeah. He did. How long did you let him hang onto it? 
couple seconds. Then. Okay, then set the hook on them? Yep. Let me ask you this, is there any young ladies that you'd like to say hi to that probably watch our show? No, none, none at all. Not a blonde, not a brunette, not a redhead. I mean, my mom. Your mom? My mom. Hi, mom. <laughs> I love to see that. Again, is that on the slow poke? Slow poke. Slow poke. Right. How slow can the slow poke go? Whoa. Pike aroni. Pike in 3D. Well, we got some fish in the 40s before, so. Very healthy population. Feel like a better fish again? You know, I'll tell you what, we got about a little 100 yard stretch right now where these fish are absolutely stacked in here and definitely walleyes and a few pike and a few sheep's head but that definitely looks like a better fish we haven't seen a catfish yet today though it's a nice walleye sheep head walleye oh it is a walleye that's definitely a nice one then yep keep reeling it up there we go Woo! nice job gotta love it and again i can't believe this little 100 yard stretch right now it's just absolutely loaded every time we make a pass through here we seem to catch two or three of them hold that one up adam to ever, so everybody can see it and again remember here on this oh i just missed one. Oh man good thing i had my safety glasses on here but on this system there is an 18 inch size limit and it's three fish nice job preston oh it is Schaefer. Hey, what's going on, shotgun? Really? Hey, yeah, hang on. Yeah, hang on. Let me tell everybody. Hey, everybody, we got a little bit of a treat tonight. Shotgun Schaefer is up at the landing and he's got the green egg and he's cooking us a little bit of a surprise. So, hey, are you guys hungry? One more fish. We're going in to get some chow. Here we go. Feels like a good fish. Oh yeah, I'm just gonna flip them. Oh, again on the slow poke. I went to that green before, and that really seemed to help out for sure. You know, again, just kind of hooking that leech, and you know that's another trick right there. Let me get this guy unhooked. Yeah, another decent fish right there. Again, Lake Koshkin on fishing with our good friend Adam Walton today. And you know, Adam's definitely, when it comes to fishing, he's definitely a teacher. Um, and that's really a cool part about the guiding business is you're out here obviously to show people a good time, but it's also to teach people with the, so they can come back out and do it on their own. Let me get this one back in. And basically, I'm gonna put a new leech on here. And I think it's important too, um, just the way you hook that leech, especially when you're using a jig here like the slow poke is, I only hook the leech one time. Unless I'm casting it over and over, like if I'm working a shoreline and I'm pitching it and bringing it back. But here I'm just pitching it out there um, and basically just dragging it. So what I do is I like to always take the leech and I'll just go right, and I learned this from our, my good friend Kent Anderson from Warrior Boats, is that just taking that leech and just barely hooking it through that sucker right there and I barely have that hook. So there's not much hole in that leech on. So when you cast it out there, again, we're just dragging here. I don't put a lot of energy into it. That's the nice fish, huh, Adam? Yeah, it feels decent. And uh, just to get it out there, let's see that one. Woo, what do you got there, brother? I don't know. It's... That's got some ump to it, for sure. You know, la oh. Another pike. Another, you are the pike. Well, pike pole guide service, right? Yeah. <laughs> right? Pike Meister. They're all fun to catch though, aren't they, Adam? As Adam's getting that pike in, let me show you guys if I was casting a leech over and over, not just casting it out there and dragging it, if I was gonna pitch it, wind it in, pitch it again, how I would hook that leech. So I showed you how I have that leech hooked when I'm dragging, and I barely hook it, but if you did that and cast it out there over and over, obviously it's not gonna stay on there. So, and I'm gonna put a lot more energy into a cast when I'm trying to work like a point or a weed bed. So basically what I do is, again, I'll come through the leech like this, and then I'll turn, turn that leech back around. 
and I'll flip them back like this and I'll actually kind of pull on them a little bit. So again, you know, double hook that leech when you're casting it and retrieving it back. But if you're just going to cast it out there and drift with it and let the boat drift down, you definitely just want to hook it right through the sucker one time. Everybody, welcome to our Leroy lunch time, and I'll tell you, we've got the shotgun Schaefer on the deck here. Hey, shotgun, I'll tell you what, what do you got cooking today for us? Stop by Randy and Steve. I got 80 20 hamburger. 80 20. So, what's 80, the difference? 80% hamburger, 20% fat. Okay. So, that way, the more 20, you know, fat, more stuff runs down your wrist. So, everybody, where do you season your meat? On the outside? Exactly. No, we're taking the better really? burger seasoning. This stuff is, Leroy meat's got tons of seasoning. Put it on the inside. Now we're going to take and put our onions on the inside, mix it all up. Holy man. Why would you put it on the outside? It goes in the grill and then you don't taste it. So Never even thought about that, Chaka. You're, you're always on, on the ball. Like meatballs. All your seasoning goes on the inside of meatballs. We got the big green egg all dialed in here, smoking hot. I'm starving, dude. It's going down. Going down. I like when things are, when, food are going, <laughs> when food's going down, I'm loving it. Hey, Shotgun, let's take a look at these burgers and see how they're cooking. Woo! That looks absolutely awesome. Okay. Now, how do you know when they're done? Okay, I don't when, like my stuff. I like my stuff medium. When you push in the middle like this, see how it's bouncing back? Yep. That's done. Now, this one here is a little different. See how it's staying in? Okay. That's more medium rare. This one's done. This is medium. So when you open up, it's going to be pink inside. Don't forget, too, people, they have awesome buns there, too. It's not just their meat. Like the Seder. So that one's ready to go, huh? Oh, heck yeah. Dig in. Well, I'm going to pound that thing right down. Careful. It's hot. Hot. I'll oh. show the camera. See mm. that color in there? So I push down on it. That's got that pink ring in there. That's medium right there. That is absolutely delicious. Seasoning's probably right inside there. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, you can see the little specks of the seasoning. Yep. There you go. <laughs> wow, what an amazing day we had today. I want to definitely thank Adam Walton from Pike Pole Guide Service for giving us such an incredible day. We certainly caught a ton of walleyes and some huge perch and gills. But I'll tell you, this guy is absolutely a hoot to be in the bowl with. Hey, we also want to thank our good friend Shotgun Schaefer for coming on over as we came in and having lunch already all cooked up for us. You know, Shotgun, that guy can certainly cook. There's no doubt about that. Hey, don't forget, you guys, to check out our YouTube channel. We have all sorts of great things going on. We put new things on there pretty much every day. If you wanna check out the latest, the greatest things that are happening, definitely subscribe to our YouTube channel. Hey everybody, if you see us driving down the road, we've got a brand new truck that looks like a fire tiger lure on it. It is amazing. We wanna thank the good people over at Signs and Lines for doing another amazing job on one of our vehicles. So if you see us driving down the road, give us a thumbs up. Hey, and you know what? The most important thing of all, be proud to be an American, and remember what a great day it is to be alive. Yeah. Beep, beep. Beep, beep. Beep, beep. Beep, beep. No, no. That is good.